Hello and welcome to this complete overview video of my racing sim. I'm going to start with the 230 volt input. It comes from over there together with the DVI cable and goes inside this case. If you want to know what's inside the case, you can check out the other video. Here is the power button for the PC and here are the three 24 volt outputs that each go to one O-drive. I've only plugged in one to keep everything clean. This one goes to this O-drive. It also carries a reset signal in this green cable. This is triggered by one of the two e-stops. The e-stops go to the orange plug right there. The other one I will show in just a second. The LEDs on the underside are powered by a small DC to DC converter that converts 24 volts to 12 volts. Here are the cables for the O-drive front. If you follow this cable up here, come to the Oculus Rift. The Oculus Rift sensor moves together with the SIM so it doesn't need compensation for the movement. The cables all travel down this and go inside the tube to the back. Once they come out the back, they merge with the cable from the second e-stop right there. There is also a small DC to DC converter to power the LEDs on the other side. They go inside this cable sleeve and come out the other side. The two USBs are plugged into the motherboard and the power for the steering wheel comes from this 230 volt socket. There's another one that can be used for example for an external monitor, but I don't have that set up right now. As I already said, the e-stops go to this plug and as you can see there are two cables coming out of this. If we go to the other side of the sim, you can see the second e-stop. When this is pressed, the LEDs on the other side go out. This is handy because then you know that the e-stop is pressed. Here you can see one USB cable that is plugged in to the PCIe expansion card and also the GPU where the HDMI for the Oculus and the DVI cable for the monitor are plugged in. The monitor is over here and I also have a small wireless keyboard over here. So that was it for this video. I hope you now understand how my setup is wired. If you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.